what's up guys today i'm going to be giving you a q a video all the questions were sent in through the youtube comments or instagram dms if you got questions for a future video leave them in the comments of this video or dm me on instagram and put you know q a for q a video um with that being said let's get started oh and i'm gonna put the questions on the screen during the uh when i answer them i don't have all of them but i think i have most of them so they'll be on the screen the first three i believe come come from the same guy so i'm gonna put his full comment throughout the all three of them all right the first thing is what is a grail funko pop you have if you don't know that a grail is it's an expensive pop and as of today i'm recording the most expensive pop i have is aj lee and she's 410 dollars according to the, the funko app um okay this is a good one what's a grail that i want if money wasn't you know a problem you know i collect dragon ball z pops um i don't know if you guys ever seen it i'll put it on the screen but there's a toy tokyo vegeta it's a variant from the first vegeta they made and it's basically the colors that vegeta does in the first couple episodes of the, the tv show they look really cool and it's going for over a thousand dollars if i could get that i would have that um and yet the last question from this guy if i stop collecting marvel pops he mentioned marvel in specific but i think uh maybe if I stop collecting in general, if I stop collecting Marvel Pops, would I be interested in collecting hot toys or higher valued statues of characters that I like? And then he went on to saying uh, along the lines of, it might be boring collecting Spider-Man, you know, the same spider-man pop but different variants he's got a point but they don't just make um different variants for the same pose they do make different poses but as for your question no i don't know what hot toys are i'll have to look that up and the statues i think my dad and my brother have a few of those I wouldn't be interested in collecting that. And I don't think I'd have space for that. So right now, I'm saying no. Um, next question. Do I have any siblings? And how many? I have one brother, and I'm older than him by a year. Just in case you're wondering. Um... Would I like to be sp sponsored by Funko, and would I like to have a Funko Pop made after me, or of me? And, hell yeah, um, I would love to get sponsored by Funko. Um, I don't know what that, what perks that would bring. I imagine they send you free stuff to unbox or stuff like that or maybe you get like uh a discount on the Funko shop or early access to like drops or something but i would love to be sponsored and i would love to have a Funko pop of me i don't know if you guys seen my shirts they're not for sale yet but i had my boy or gritty's boy um make a design of me as a funko pop i'll put that on the screen but i would love i would say yes 
to both of those questions. Um, what is my day-to-day -day like? That's a good question. All right, so then, I, then I'm not rolling around the bed, you know, being lazy, or if I'm not, you know, doing something in specific, a regular day would be I get up, I work out, um, I play video games, I film a video, um, and I just, I talk on FaceTime, usually, or I'll watch or something, you know, wrestling or something. Not in that particular order, but, oh, and I go out for looks, and I play Pokemon Go. So I go to the park, or I go, you know, like, in my area. Area. I don't know why I said it like that. But that's a normal day for me. Um, how many pops do I own? Okay, as of recording, I'm recording this on, what's today? December 6th, and I just actually updated the Funko app. Because that's where I keep track of all my pops. As of as I'm recording, I have 572 Funko Pops in my collection. This was a, an interesting question. If I organized a music festival, what three headliners would I choose to be at the festival? I had to think about that. Now, for, for them, the last one, how to kick them out. And the three headliners I would pick are Eminem, Shocker, um, Slipknot, because they're my favorite rock band. And how to kick about this, because I wanted to include a female performer. I don't listen to that many female artists. I like Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande, Olivia O'Brien. Those are a few I'm listening to. I'm listening to now, but if I had to pick, it would be Snow the Product. In my opinion, the best female rapper out there today, hands down. So Snow the Product. And the last question. Why did I start YouTube, and why did I end the Sim Fuckers channel? Alright, so why I started YouTube, this is actually a funny uh, answer. Um, I got a camera for my 16th birthday, birthday um, from my mom, and I just recorded videos for my cousins. And I uploaded them to YouTube. But at the time, I didn't know how YouTube worked. I was 15. Um, by the way, I got the camera a couple of weeks before my birthday, if you're we wondering the timeline. It was for my 16th birthday. I got it before. But I made videos for my cousin. I uploaded them. I didn't know how YouTube worked. And... Um, it, it just took off. I went viral. Um, people found my videos. They uploaded them to Worldstar, and that's how it all happened. I had no intent at the time of being a YouTuber. It was just me fucking around for family and friends. So that's how it happened. Why did I end the channel? I, um, I, I, I answered this. I just had a stroke. I answered this in my interview on the Gritty Nose Best podcast. I'll put the link in the description. But I ended the channel because I was being harassed by an online group. At the time, they were calling themselves Anonymous. I don't know if it was a real anonymous, if it was, you know, a fake 
group calling himself anonymous, but I was being harassed by a group for information about me. I was being harassed. My friends were being harassed. They went on to my, my Facebook. They were harassing the people in there, and they were hacking. I believe they hacked my Facebook. I was so close to getting through this video without editing, but like I said, I believe they hacked my Facebook at, the, at one point. They got my phone number. Um, I don't know if it was through to Facebook or online. Why am I saying Facebook? It's MySpace. They hacked my MySpace. They, they contacted my friends on MySpace. Um, and they, they got my phone number, like I said, and they were just harassing me. I got non-stop calls during school. Um, they got my house phone number. They were calling my house non-stop, leaving messages. And that actually, that went on for a while. But that's why I deleted my some fuckers channel. Because I was getting harassed online. But... That's all the questions you guys sent in. Again, if you have more questions for a future video, leave them in the comments of this video or DM me on Instagram. But that's all I have for you guys. Leave a like if you like a QA. and a Subscribe if you're new. Turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.